Went up. If you don't get the big volume, there probably isn't any trade. There's probably no trade there if you don't get the big volume because you need to know that the algorithms are taking this market as a fair value buy trade. So this is uh, fast. Uh, I think it's uh, fair to say that. But the other thing we can add to this, of course, is we can make sure the book is bullish. We can make sure the book is bullish. We can make sure that the short-term uh, liquidity is in favor of the buy trade. We would make sure that the long-term liquidity is in favor of the buy trade, preferably. So we've got other things we can stack into this as a deal. It's not just about this part. We've also got value, haven't we? We've got this idea of value evolving in these trades as well. So if I want to try and find whether we've got any value, I can look at Warren, for example, and I can ask the question, is Warren bullish or bearish? Well, you can see that these trades have all been very, very bearish Warren lines. Very bearish Warren lines. So if they're very bearish Warren lines, do I want to be buying into those trades or selling into those trades? I'd rather be trying to sell pullbacks, thank you very much. Make sense? So simply adding a value line can take you to one side only and one side, literally one side only. If the prem starts selling in line with Warren, I'm selling. We can look at the rotational lines to see if that's bullish or bearish as well. If we look at some of the other rotations, we can ask exactly the same question. If that goes bullish, I can buy into this bottom edge. Perfect, nice buy trade. Short term bearish, I've got to be cautious. Short term bearish, I've got to be cautious. And you start moving into those rotations. If I look at, uh, for example, if I look at the volatility, I can ask exactly the same question on volatility as well. If volatility hasn't managed to improve, I want to be predominantly selling into those high price, high price pullbacks. So when we're selling into high price pullbacks, what are we looking for? Well, if we all agree that the high price pullbacks in these areas are still inside this very bearish trend, all we're looking for in those areas is for the MACD of the prem to turn around, right? So in those areas there, like this higher high, because we've obviously got a price level in the background here. And for example, this higher high here, because we've got a price level in the background here. Into those areas, we can start thinking about the possibility of getting short into those trades. <clears throat> Well, you can see on the way up, it doesn't happen, <clears throat> but you could have sold it on the way back down. On the way up, it doesn't happen, but you could have sold it on the way back down again. So it can take away one side of the book. Now, I've said before in classroom, when we teach trading to interns, one of the, th one of the first things that we teach an intern is to do what? What's one of the first things fundamentally we teach an intern? to eliminate one side of the trade, right? One of the first things we teach an intern is to be able to eliminate one side of the trade. How do we do that? How do we do that? We simply tell them to go with the intern's exercise. The intern's exercise eliminates one side of the trade, yes? The intern's exercise eliminates one side of the trade. What else eliminates one side of the trade? Value. Value eliminates one side. What else eliminates one side of the trade? The order book. The order book can eliminate one side, either the short-term order book or the short-term and the long-term order book or the long-term order book. We can eliminate one side of the trade entirely by doing all of those elements. And if we can put all of those together and we can eliminate one side of the trade with everything, well, now we've got a trade, right? Now we've got a trade. So when I look at this and I say, can you eliminate one side of the trade by looking at, uh, by looking at the Warren line? What was the answer? Yes, I could eliminate being a buyer at any stage, correct? I could eliminate being a buyer at any stage. The market's quiet today, isn't it? It's relatively quiet. You can see that it's been relatively bearish uh, from those higher highs up here. You can see how bearish it has been. There is a very obvious kind of bearishness to these higher highs up here at the moment. You can see it's a very obvious bearishness to this higher high phase here. And you can see that uh, we've uh, been able to eliminate the buy side so far based on the Warren rotations. 
So if we can eliminate one side of the trade, would you have been looking to sell that phase? Yeah, absolutely. Would you have been looking to sell perhaps this phase here? Yep, absolutely. So we can see that this has been dominating our thoughts for the market so far. In the early stages, there wasn't so much value available during that period. You can see the macro value isn't actually that bearish either. Could we have eliminated the sell side during this phase? Yeah, possibly. There's macro value in the trade as well, and then there's short-term value, so we could have eliminated the buy side there, uh, sell side there. But from that point onwards, we can really only eliminate the sell side, uh, the buy side. From that point onwards, we can really only eliminate the buy side. And obviously, we're selling into those higher high phases has resulted in a fairly reasonable profit. Now, as I said, it's relatively quiet. There's not an awful lot of interest in the markets today, to be honest. You can see when you look at the S&P, a lot of people think this is a big seller, this is a big this or that. There's nothing happening, guys. It's quiet. The market's rotated today. There's the bottom edge initial. There's the top edge initial. There's the new bottom edge initial. Here's a current bottom edge initial. This is now the structure as it's forming, this structure here, isn't it? This is pretty straightforward. Very quiet conditions. Very quiet conditions. So we can obviously look at that and say, well, we can understand that. We can understand how that quiet is evolving. I'm looking at the gamma just now, and I'm still seeing, I'm not seeing massively positive gamma, but I'm not seeing negative gamma either. I'm not seeing negative gamma either, guys. I'm simply watching the gamma just now, and the gamma is relatively still positive. What's the book? What does the dealer want, guys? What is the book telling me? The book is very negative at the moment. It's 4,300 by 6,500. 4,300 by 6,500. So that's obviously the fact that they're trying to take the price down into those liquidity levels if they can. Now, obviously, if the short-term book is bullish, you can't do anything with that. All the liquidity at the moment seems to be pulling above the market. And obviously, that's a, a couple of clues. But obviously, the idea is they're going to be trying to trade 4280s, I would imagine, on the short term. They're going to try and trade 4280s seems to be the right narrative just now from the 43 wholesale top edge. So that gives us a couple of ideas.